Hi, I'm James Lachlan, a former seven time world champion pipe band drummer. I want to share with you a little bit of a lesson inside my pipe band drumming inner circle. So every week I have a live practical lesson delivered either by myself or one of my amazing lineup of tutors. So you're gonna see a little snippet from that today. And hey, if you would like to get your hands on a free drumming course, a full video course called Drumming Transformation Week, just click in the link below. And hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I put out so many video tutorials on pipe band drumming, so I hope you enjoy it. We'll look at the short five stroke roll to start with. So obviously, you know, buzz, buzz, tap. That's our five stroke roll. Buzz, buzz, tap. Okay, we're gonna see that in marches, hornpipes, jigs, strass bass, everything. Five stroke rolls can exist in any time signature, so don't think it's just for one, one tune type. But this short five stroke roll is commonly played quite poorly. Why? This is what happens. There's no definition on the end of it. There's no clarity, there's no finishing tap. Right, and you hear really great drum cores across all grades. When they define the end of that five stroke roll, gives it clarity, makes it sound clean, provides good timing. And at the end of the day, if we do this, where did it end? It was so fuzzy, right? There's no definition to that. So it's important when we're playing our five stroke roll, when we're starting slow, to get the definition right. So let's try it hand to hand. I'm just gonna do it really slow to start with. Right and then left and right and then left. So get the drumsticks out there and feel free to join in. So the right and the left. Keep the tap clear. And as you're doing it, make sure you're not getting this. No tap on the start. Sometimes it's quite easy to turn it into a four stroke roll or an accented five. Some people might be inclined to call it, but make sure it starts with that soft buzz. Right, left, right, left. Now let's try and lift it. Now what do I mean by that? See that last stroke? I'm lifting it up, up stroke. So if you're thinking of a Strass Bay, and you're playing down into the drum at the end of that roll, you get a very dirge-like feeling. But if you lift at the end of the five stroke roll, there's a much different feel. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a clip from our inner circle. If you'd like to see the full video, head on over to pipebanddrumminginnercircle.com. I will put that description in the link below. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button because every week I upload a new video lesson. You don't want to be missing out on that. And please, while you're here, hit that subscribe button.